procedures for using the tooth pulse mix are wearing safety glasses, pants, and toast toe shoes. When moving your vehicle onto the two post lift, always make sure you have clearance for the door to open. Make sure the car is in neutral, close the door, and have a friend help you push. Each arm is able to extend to be able to go to the desired location. Also, if the car is missing, there will be special pads that you put in here to be able to reach the car. Make sure the arms are in the shortest position able to be able to slide on the car. When putting an arm, make sure you know either to put it on the frame or on the thin lip metal. On this type of car, it is a thin lip metal. You put it, you extend it if necessary on each arm. For the back arm, make sure it's in the most extended position with the thin lip. When you're done, make, have a friend check your work to make sure you did it right. When you're done, make sure you check to see if the arms are equal with the other side. This is the button used to raise the lift. As the lift raises, you hear clicks. Each click is a different safety lock. This button is used to lower the lift, and this button is used to bypass the safety lock. Whenever you lift a vehicle, make sure you go over a click and then lower the vehicle down onto the safety lock. Make sure you get the vehicle until it's barely off the ground and then shake it from the front and back. Now that you know that the vehicle's on there firm, you can continue lifting. Notice how after I heard a click, I stopped and lowered the car down onto the safety lock. This will prevent it from falling on top of someone working under or around it. When lifting a car, if you go high enough to where the top of the car hits this wire, it's an automatic shut off. This black button bypasses the safety lock and this yellow button is used to lower. You have to lift up the vehicle just a little bit to get it off the safety lock. Then you press the bypass button and then lift. Make sure you lower it all the way down until the arm touches the ground. When you lower a car, make sure you lower it all the way until this pin clicks. Once the pin clicks, you can swing out the arms and make sure you put the extensions all the way back in so nobody trips over them.